Hi everyone, it's Victoria with La Vida Victoria and I am 38 weeks and three days today and I'm going to show you what's in my hospital bag because I could be going to the hospital at any time. Hopefully so. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later. So I'll show you the bag uh, after I get through everything because I have it open right now but it's just it's like a medium-sized roller bag, which I like because it has the spinny wheels. I know a lot of uh, mommies like to use those really cute duffel bags, but unless your husband is carrying it for you, like, I, I don't see how that seems fun to lug a whole bunch of stuff over your shoulder. I'd rather just wheel it. And my husband's going to be carrying his own stuff. And... Um, Probably a blow up mattress as well because he's a big guy. He does not like what they have um, for the spouses. Um, he thinks he doesn't fit on the couch, which he pretty much doesn't. <laughs> so, oh, hello, kitty. Um, so, yeah, he's going to attempt to fit a queen size, very large blow up mattress. We'll see if it fits in the room and if they approve that. Um, yeah, so let me start. Um, I'll start with the toiletries. So first, let me just say about hospital bags. I feel like everyone makes them a little more complicated than they need to be. So I'm going to the hospital this time for baby number two. I've already done this one time. Um, I went in for an induction the first time around. And so I was hoping, I was hoping for a vaginal birth and I ended up in an emergency C-section. So now I kind of know what I need definitely for after a C-section, but um, if I get a V-back, which I hope to get, um, then I might need a few different items. So I'm kind of packing for, you know, both case scenarios. Um, although last time in my bag, I used hardly, I, I didn't use hardly anything. I didn't even bring my toiletries because they're like, oh yeah, we have, you know, uh, body wash and whatever. Else, yes, it's cheap. Yes, it doesn't feel as good as home products, but I didn't want to worry about uh, bringing everything. Um, however, I do recommend that you ask your doctor what the hospital that you will be delivering at uh, provides for you because every hospital is a little bit different and then what they recommend. So my doctor, um, her medical clinic is at the hospital. So she has easy access if people go in and out of labor. So she's at the hospital all the time. So she said she spent many a nights there and she does not care to use their toiletries. She said even their like toothbrush, like the bristles will fall apart in your mouth and you don't wanna be brushing with that. So that was a good thing, good tip. She said, just bring, bring that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna start with here. Um, have one of these plastic bags and I did Ipsy for a long time, which is like a makeup skincare subscription. And I have a ton of these little bags, all different kinds of bags. So I can use them for this. Um, I still do it on occasion. Um, I do the BoxyCharm now, which is five full size products. I'll talk about that in another video. But um, anyways, I do still have some small small sample stuff from the the smaller uh, bags, the Ipsy's. So this is like um, a bouncing gel hydrator, but basically a serum. And um, for my face cleanser, I'm bringing DHC packet of cleansing oil. I love cleansing wood foil. I will get into that also on another video, but um, I have really oily skin. And what makes my skin the best is oil, is oil, is oil products. Um, if you strip your skin of all your oil, it reacts and inflames and makes more acne and all these bad things. Like you need oil on your skin. So anyways, I have all these free samples. So I'm putting them in my bag because they don't take up hardly any space. I have an eye moisturizer, next uh, nighttime moisturizer, and then another gel cleanser just in case I run out of this. I don't know how, how many days I'll be there. Hopefully not very, hopefully not very long. Also, I threw in, oh, this is another nighttime moisturizer. 
Um, but I have a couple other smaller bottles of things too that probably at the end I'll chuck in. So my plan is I have everything written out here. I've packed a few things and I've checked it off. Um, and if I get to go into spontaneous labor, uh, usually that takes a little bit of time, right? So, uh, then I'll start packing my bag and I feel like I'm going to want something to distract myself between contractions. We'll see how I actually feel, but it really won't take me long to get through this list and put the rest of the remaining items in my, uh, hospital bag. And, um, I don't have to use my brain. It's already written down. I know exactly what I need. So, yeah, so basically samples and stuff for like, uh, for the face, face products. Uh, then I'll be packing, I like to use bars for um, body wash, um, shampoo and conditioner. So I'll put those all in separate little bags in here. Uh, my giant thing of lotion. Don't think I'm going to need lotion. I didn't use lotion last time, but you know, you never know. I have the room. If I have time to pack it, I'll pack it. Uh, and my toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, hairbrush, makeup bag. This is not how it's going to be. I just kind of put it in here to show you. I keep most of my makeup in here already. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a few items out and throw in my makeup brushes. So if I feel like I'll, I'm sure I'll doll myself up before I leave the hospital. But other than that, I don't know that I'll even use any of this. Um, but it's real easy to just throw in just like that. Uh, yeah, then I have another little bag and it has uh, different kinds of scrunchies and hair ties. Keep my hair. I have a lot of hair. I don't want that in the way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is, that's all I need for toiletries. Um, I'm not that picky, but I figured since I have samples and things and smaller sized items that I'll just go ahead and bring it. Um, baby car seat is basically on the way to the car and that, and it's downstairs in the house with the car seat base. Um, it's actually really quick to put in. So I'm not concerned about installing that early or we can just chuck it in the back and my husband can put it in later. Um, clothes I did not pack yet because I, well, my going home outfit, I don't know what's going to be clean. So, um, I'm going to give myself two options. Um, one, if I have a C-section, I'll want, um, nothing on my waist. So I'm going to pack a thicker kind of sundress. So, um, if you've given birth before, you know that they give you the, this mesh underwear and so you shouldn't wear anything tight. Um, you're not going to want to wear anything tight anyways like that, but it'll, it's bulky. So it's like wearing diapers. So it'll show through. So you want very loose fitting things. Um, so y'all have some sort of loose fitting dress. And then, um, if I don't go that route, I'll also include some sort of like lounge wear, like sweatpantsy, um, very comfy, uh, top that will go with it, you know, not a t-shirt, but something like that. Um, lounge wear. Then, um, these I use all the time, so they're not even like particularly clean, <laughs> but, um, they're must have. So I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd show you like, it's a little cotton, um, little night, nightgown thing. And it actually stretches really well. I can currently wear it surprisingly with this belly. Um, and by the way, I do have shorts on. You just probably couldn't see them because of this. Um, so this for if I don't want anything on my waist. Then I you know you guys all know Kindred Brave, Brave Bravely? Bravery? Bravely. Um, their stuff is so soft. It's made out of bamboo. It's kind of expensive, but it is um, worth it, I think, because the material just feels so good, especially um, when you're pregnant or just given birth, you want comfort. Um, so it's a little button up and then it has little matching shorts and um, they're size medium. So actually for me, that's on the big side. However, I'm so glad because my belly's really big right now and it still fits. <laughs> so 
yeah, so that's my other just lounging around in the hospital kind of outfit. And then if you watched my Shein video, Shein maternity wear, I got a robe that's super soft. Um, and it's pink and it says mama on the side. So that'll be my robe. However, last time, uh, you know, birth can be pretty disgusting, have blood everywhere. I didn't want to wear any of my own stuff. So I just wore what the hospital provided, which is, you know, paper scratchy gowns. But if you feel gross and you don't want to get any of your stuff messy, which I didn't want to do, um, I just wore their stuff. So you, like, you don't need to bring any of this. This is just to have if you want, if you feel good, if you want to feel extra comfy and you think that everything's fine and um, everything's contained, then I'll, I'll wear my, my own stuff. But if I think that I'm a mess, I'm just going to wear their stuff. Um, then for baby coming home, because that's very important, you need options for outfits. So I only packed two things. I packed two different sizes, basically. Um, so I have a newborn onesie. So cute. This is a hand-me-down from my first. Um, two little giraffes, little feet, so tiny. So he'll probably end up in this um, because I'm sure he'll be a newborn size. Um, my last baby was very long though, 22 inches. So it's possible that uh, maybe he could fit into this. This is probably not going to happen. This is probably too big. But it's brand new. Um, it says baby 2023. has this cute matching little bear hat. also thought maybe just taking a picture in it um, might be good enough uh, for like announcement photo or something. Although for Dean, my my first child, uh, we just used the swaddle and the hat that everybody, <laughs> that everybody and their mother has used since the dawn of time, the little rainbow stripey one with the rainbow hat. And that, that turned out just fine. So once again, you don't need a grand picture stuff because at the house, I'm going to take a million photos anyways. Um, but obviously he'll need something to wear to come home. So we have that checked off. Um, the other clothes that I have, I have slippers because I don't want to walk around their floor barefoot or in socks. I'm also not a big socks person. I know a lot, a lot of people say, oh, I'm packing all these cozy socks, uh, but that's just not important to me. I like my feet out. Um, so one last thing I have to pack. Uh, all right. Now we'll get into some of the more, more essentials, I think. Uh, so you need a breastfeeding pillow if that's what you plan on doing, um, which now I, di I did for over a year. Well, I, I started weaning at a year. Um, it, only, it took me about a month to wean. Um, but yeah, this is very helpful. And especially if you have a C-section, you don't want anything on there so this can elevate them and um, keep everything comfy on you. I didn't use this last time right away, um, but I have so many different kinds of these waist cinchers and some people say that they really feel good um, right away. So I brought two different kinds with me that um, we'll see if I want to use them or not depending on how I feel and how the birth went. Uh, but it gives me options there. Uh, also with C-sections, uh, I'm sure I'll go through the mesh underwear that they give me, but these felt like heaven. These are super high-waisted, and then they have the silicone patch right where your scar is, and the silicone is supposed to really help um, with the healing process, and these are super cinchy it felt really good to be tucked in so if i go that route again i may uh wear these and i don't know maybe i want to feel tucked if i'm the other way as well um but i have three pairs so i'm just bringing them and then of course you need nursing bras um i have black one and a white one uh 
I don't think I'm going to get to this point yet. So this seems kind of silly to bring, but um, when your milk comes in, um, you know, you can leak all over the place. So I have a bunch of these uh, breast pads and that soak everything up that are reusable. Then you can just wash them in the washer and um, that'll be great. However, I don't think I'm going to need it right away. Ex excess packing. Like I said, this is not need to, we don't need to bring everything possible that we uh, will be using, but I just don't know how my body's going to react to everything. I also brought a sleep mask because uh, uh, I didn't know the first time around that you're supposed to have the baby near some light or I guess if you're in the dark for too long it's easier for them to like have a little bit of jaundice and they said that my baby had jaundice but he didn't really but as soon as we gave him light he was fine so I think we were just staying in a cave because we had all the blinds closed um because we both just wanted to sleep after everything and so the baby didn't get any sunlight um, so now I'm just going to have the windows open and cover my own eyes and that should be fine. Um, I also got a brand new pump this time because you can get that through, um, your insurance. And so I got the motif. Um, it's the one that is hands-free. So it comes with a little nursing bra, uh, well, a pumping bra, so it has like holes in the middle. Um, and then it has a lanyard that you hook this part through and um, the machine part, you can just wear it around your neck and then have the, um, the little catchers um, hang off. So I think that's, that's pretty handy. My last one, I could not be hands-free. Um, I had the Medela uh, pump in style and it worked really well. Um, however, I had to sit somewhere and have it plugged into the power. Um, so I think I'm going to like this a lot more, especially now that I have another child and I can't just sit there and pump when I want to um, at home because I have another child to entertain. But uh, yeah, so uh, it's important to pump in the beginning. I think, I think that really helped my milk supply go up. Um, and that's what the doctors had recommended at the time. So, and then this is just another bag and I have all the parts in there, the tubes and stuff. And then, um, I'm bringing a hand pump, the Haka, uh, just in case I want to catch let down or do it manually, not hook up all this stuff. And I also brought the manual because since it's new, I haven't played with it yet. I probably should do that. Um, and then these cute little bags, both of these bags were from Ipsy as well. Um, when you upgraded to the full size products, they used to be called Glam Bag Plus and they'd give you really nice bags. Now the full size products come in a box that you're not going to keep. Um, so. I don't like that, but I have a lot of cute bags, so I'm using it. And that's all that I have actually packed already. Um, the other things I'm gonna put in there, uh, I have my essential oil diffuser, which if I go through normal labor, I'm wanting to do all the hippy dippy things and use clary sage and lavender um, in the diffuser and then I think clary sage topically on like my wrists and ankles and things like that. Um, it's supposed to help with making your contractions more efficient and easing the pain somehow. Um, clary sage is also supposed to help induce. So I'm waiting for it in the mail. So I don't have that one yet. I do have my lavender though for relaxation and calming and um, making the environment more appealing to me. Uh, so yeah, we have that, uh, in my husband's bag, cause this is his job, <laughs> uh, for him to support me. Um, this is a massage gun and this thing is by Toloco. 
it's really awesome. This is the soft, it has like 20 different attachments, but this one is the softest, so it can go like all over your body and it feels really good. Um, so I'll just turn it on and show you. It has all these different power levels and uh, I'm such a wuss. I just like one, but like just everything feels really good. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not in labor, but I figure um, maybe on my hips or my low back, um, wherever I'm feeling pain, that this is gonna just hopefully feel heavenly. And if I don't like it, then whatever. Um, so anyways, I'm getting him to pack that and then that's his job. Um, yeah, so the other stuff that I will bring is my phone charger and, uh, yeah, that's it. So, so this is the suitcase, um, fully put together so you can see it's a good size, but it's on the roller feet, uh, has a nice handle and, uh, should make things easy. So that is my hospital bag pretty much packed and ready to go. Just do some last minute items when I'm laboring and, uh, yeah, but you could go with a lot less. Like literally they have everything you absolutely need. The one thing you need for sure is your infant car seat to take your child home because they won't let you leave without that. And they do check your car. Um, and then something for them to wear because they can't just be swaddled in there. Um, so really you just need those two items for baby. Everything else is extra. Uh, it's how bougie you want to feel, how extra, um, and then what you anticipate for how long you're going to be there. Because if I'm there for a week, I probably want to pack a lot more. Um, but I'm anticipating just a few days, two to four days max. Um, and if I need more stuff, um, my husband will have to leave me for a little bit anyways, go back to the house and um, feed our chickens and check on our cat and things like that. So I would just have him pick me up more things then. Uh, but I think that's all you need. That's all you need. And I'm 38 weeks and ready to go. So if you enjoyed and learned uh, what you may or may not need for your hospital bag, uh, if you are doing this soon or if you have any other recommendations please feel free to leave any notes in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as possible um but if this is your first time watching thanks for joining don't forget to like comment and subscribe that really helps me out and i will see you next week unless i have a baby then i'm gonna be busy but yeah my plan is to have this baby at 39 weeks. <laughs> we'll see if uh, my body cooperates. Thanks for watching. Bye.